morning, Brian. This is like morning, third Frank. day at IAPA, and exactly. it's still busy. Still busy. And you guys are right here on the aisle, team play, yep. with a new fantastic game. I want to learn all about Spins Ahoy. Okay. Take us through it. No problem. So we the newest game from us is Spins Ahoy. It's a pinball slash board game. So uh, it's a little bit different. No one's really done anything like this before. And I'll sort of demo it a little bit here. We're gonna be Captain Ken. We're the blue guy right here. So I'm gonna find us. We're over here in that corner. You need me, Captain. As you see, Ken. we've got shoot ball, and I'm over there. I want to move my way around the board game. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead, pull the plunger. The ball is gonna land in a spot. Tell us how many spots we move. So we move nine spaces. It looks like I'm gonna get a letter. So I've added one letter to our treasure bonus. Uh, one of the great features we have is whoever spells that treasure bonus first is going to get that giant treasure chest. Now I see it already gave you T-R-E-R -E yep. to so start. We just need four letters left. Uh, one of the things that, that's great about this is we've seen a lot of people work together when they're playing. So, you know, everybody plays a game singly, but we've got a four-player game here. So when I spell treasure and I win that bonus, everybody gets three minutes, all the values double on the play field. So all wow. four people just start going nuts. So it's a win-win for everybody. So all you guys were trying to get that spelt out, everybody gets to win. For three minutes, they just get to go crazy, pile the money in, and, and win a lot of tickets. And, and, what, and what team, this was developed in-house? This was all developed in-house. Who's, who's the key guy that did it? I was the main developer. Uh, Ken was the person who came up with the idea for sort of the pinball play field. Uh, which was awesome. It's doing phenomenal. You know, we're really excited about it. So yeah, it was basically us in house. And, and how many of these are out there right now? Uh, we've got seven or eight on test right now, and, and they're killing it. We're really happy about wow. it. Wow. When do I get mine? Uh, you will probably have yours as soon as we're back from the show. <laughs> All right. This is awesome. Can you tell me anything sure. about the characters in there? Yeah, yeah. So we've got four characters: John Lafitte, Captain Ken, Red Raven, and Salty Pete. As you can see, everybody's color-coded. Um, the final version, this will be color-coded to your character as well. Um, but really quickly, I'm going to point out a couple of the other features. Uh, one of the cool things about it, so I'm still Captain Ken. I'm up there in the corner. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces to go. I'm going to see if I can skill shot us over here. Okay. See if I can get us in here. Not so easy, but we'll see what we can do. No, look us soft. Get in there. Oh, oh, you came so close. 15. If you get the skill shot, it automatically will take you to the closest corner. I'm going to try it again. We've got one more shot. I want to get to that key is the idea. We need me, Captain Ken. See if we can. A little too hard. Oh. 13. I'm going to pass more. up the key. Uh, if I get the key, what happens is five treasure chests appear on, behind that curtain. Now it's sort of like a deal or no deal sort of thing. I've got to pick the right chest with a thousand tickets on it. I've got a one in five chance, and, and people just love the fact that it's the sort of mystery box sort of thing. It, it's a great are, thing. Are there any advantages to playing one person against the machine, or two or three or four? Does it, does it, is it more fun with four it's people? It's definitely more fun with four people. It helps you spell that treasure bonus a little bit quicker. Everyone just sort of gets into it, gets excited. If you get a bigger jackpot, it rains down the color of your character's tickets. So then like you sort of start trash talking each other. You're like, hey, stop putting all your red tickets on my screen. And it goes back and forth. And now, it's now let really me ask you the key question. Let's Ooh. say let's say you, me, and Yuroslav are playing this game. So there we, I just hit the corner. We rains down blue tickets. All right, let's say you, me, and Yuroslav are playing. Sure. Would we be actually stopping for a few minutes and trying to get somebody else to be the fourth player? So what we've seen is a couple people play and they're trying to sort of get the letters. We've seen people on their cell phones go, I've got one letter left, you guys gotta get over here. So they all participate and try and get that last letter so then they can all do the three minute timer. Right, it's so, awesome. So we're actually using the cell phones to help promote <laughs> our game. Yes, yes we are. Awesome. <laughs> What a, what a great, great idea. So the last question I have is I see the names, and, and who are they really related to in the real world? 
Uh, Captain Ken might have been named after Ken Fidesna. Really? Know, one of the owners. Okay. We, we had to get a little... Poss possibility, Possibly, right? yeah. We, we had to get that in there. Right. Everybody else is mostly just a made-up character. Made-up. So, yep. No, no connections? No, uh, no connections. No secrets? No, no secrets. Nothing. No nothing like that. All right. I, I just had to ask no, you that. No, that's no problem. Okay. Thank you, Brian. This nope. was fantastic. Thank you very much.